Aries, welcome to another WLC reading, Weekly Love Connections. This will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your love, love life, all right? Um, to all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by once again. Information about my personal readings, the tarot decks that I'm using, as well as links to all my extended reads are in the description box below. I'm giving away some tarot, tarot and oracle decks as well. So if you're interested to participate, the link is in the description box as well on how to join. Okay, I still have a couple more. Okay, and um, alrighty, Aries. Tell us more about Aries. Let's go ahead and do your reading, all right? Aries, tell us more about Aries. What do we have for Aries in love? Tell us more. Tell us more. Tell us more, please. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Jupiter. In love. Aries, Five of Cups. The Palace of Coins and um, the Six of Wands, the Hermit, Nine of Cups, Six of Swords, Three of Coins, the High Priestess, Six of Cups, and Queen of Coins. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Swords. So Aries. Okay, so Page of Swords. Thinking about someone, um, wanting to know more, wanting to know what uh, your person is doing right now. You're longing to know the details that they are do doing, whether are they still thinking about you? Are they dating someone else? I feel that you're wanting more information. I feel that um, you're seeking some truth here. Yeah. Although I see that... Um, you're doing your day-to-day -day life and this this connection is is something that involves um, regret there's an element here of feeling sad um, feeling frustrated things did not probably go your way um, you may have even you know, I, I feel that there was, um, this is somebody from your past, somebody that you may have had um, a good relationship with at some point. You had that partnership, somebody that you have, um, could be a marriage, could be long-term, could be exclusive kind of connection. You have invested time, money, effort, and energy in this connection, and um, things did not pan out well, and there's a lot of frustration here. You're feeling disappointed for what has happened. And yet, I see that there is still that element of not being able to fully move on. Although I could see that you are trying to do that. You are trying your best on a day-to-day -day basis that um, whenever the thought of this connection comes to mind, you're forcing yourself not to think about it. And then just try to think about positive things. Try to just remember the good things about this connection. You don't want to be bitter. You don't want to be... Um, you don't want to have any um, marred memories. If there were any, you don't want to think about it. Yeah, I see that you are focusing more on your stability, financial aspect in your life. Um, possibly even doing a lot of things at home, um, renovating your home, um, focusing on the practicality side of life, the practical side of life. And you're pretty much doing well in that, yeah? 
for some of you, you could even be, like I said, renovate. I don't know, I'm getting strongly here. Renovation of house, um, possibly moving to a better state, um, a better, I mean, a different country that you, you kind of preferred for so long that you haven't really visited. You might have decided to just hop off the train and um, or take the flight and um, move out, you know, move towards that uh, new place. That's what I'm seeing. For especially for those of you who are materially um, abundant, I feel that you can very well do that, and um, that's what I'm getting here. Like that high flyer, frequent flyer, kind of energy, Aries. Mm -hmm. And somehow you are even posting it in your Facebook or Instagram. You know that you are moving. That's what I'm getting. Okay. But I see that you are focusing more on your stability and um, you're pretty much optimistic that um, in, what, in your endeavor, in, in, in where you are, in your passion, in, in um, the business or your work right now, things are pretty much going your way. Yeah. In terms of love, I do see that there is this element here of, you know, a sad past. Yeah. You know that at some point you miss this person so much, but it's a matter of um I'm also getting that Aries, there could be some aspects in your life right now that you are still wanting to achieve um this could be for instance a job, a promotion that you want to take. And, you know, like I said, it could be in an, even in another country or relocating to a new place. And you're still really aiming for it. And perhaps you were connecting with someone and, uh, you know, you could have decided to... It's very spe spe specific right now that I'm getting. But this could be a connection where you wanted to move to another country and your person is not able to do that or is not able to come with you. And therefore, things has to end up that way, yeah? You relocating, and there's some disappointment and sadness, yeah? There is sadness here. There is that bit of regret, but um, I'm not seeing that it is truly that um, deep. There is sadness, definitely. So it's more like I feel there was a valid reason for you that you need to possibly move away for now. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. Mm -hmm. And even if you're moving away, I can see that you're still keeping tabs on this person. Well, on the other hand, you're connecting with someone who has put a lot of thought about what has happened, what decisions were made, and whether they made the right decision to not come with you or not be in line with them. Your dreams here or your your plans, I think because you have a plan here and your plan is related to some form of um, building your stability, building yourself, yeah, uh, possibly an opportunity that could give you a better standing in life, yeah, but this person wasn't able to tag along and they're thinking about it, whether they made the right decision for not tagging along or, or something like that, yeah. Because at some point, this person may not have expressed to you. But they have so much emotions. They have so much... Um, I feel that they are happy being with you. It's just that... I think it's the logistics of life. <laughs> yeah, there is some form of... It's the logistics of life. This person is currently thinking, did I make the right decision for not um, going with Aries' plan right now? They're sad, yeah. I don't think if this was a separation, if you decided to really break off, I don't think it was a harsh one. I feel it's mostly, well, this is the reality of life right now and this is the thing that needs to be done. Are you with me or not? But I feel that there is still this um, link between the two of you. So that that's just one scenario. Yeah. Because here I see that there is somebody who is still building themselves or somebody who has some form of dreams 
that they need to take, that they need to accomplish. And that dream is related to some form of um, increasing or improving their status in life. And I feel that you're, you were not really, you know, leaving this person behind. There was an offer there or you may have offered this person to come with. But due to some pardon reasons, maybe it wasn't really feasible, at least on their side. And by not going with that, this person is now left thinking, did they make the right decision? Given the fact that being with you is their wish fulfillment, can they continue feeling that way and therefore this sadness I feel that um, it's even mostly on them but of course you're also sad for not being with this person because you have good memories this could also be you know after after school and then somebody needs to move to another boarding house or something you know something like that so there's that element of moving away because of some logistics reason that logistics reasons and then life has to go on life has to go on that way and then somebody may not be able to really tag along yeah but you want a disconnection and um, you see value in this connection this person has always been um, pleasant in your eyes yeah and they are also left thinking. I feel that your person is pretty sad and um, possibly even isolating themselves. They'll try to make sense out of what has happened or what decisions has been made here. Okay? I want to look at the um, energies of your person in the extended. If you want to follow me there, the link will be in the description box below. I want to get uh, more insights with regards to their current energies. Um, as well as advice from the universe, um, advices from the oracle decks, and the messages that they want to tell you from the messages deck, the decks that we have. All right. If you follow, if you want to follow me in the extended, the link is in the description box below. Um, otherwise, leave me comments and let me know how this resonates with you. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Click on the notification bell. If this is where we part ways, thank you for stopping by.